Welcome back to the channel. In the 10 months since I uh, last made a video, honestly, a lot's happened. I moved to Gainesville, got a job, made my own business, a global pandemic kind of shut down the entire world. So now I'm actually back in my parents' house making this video for you guys. Most importantly, I got into film photography and that's something that I've really become passionate about lately and something that I wanna share with you guys through this video. So let's get it started. I decided to shoot a roll of Cinestill because uh, all the film channels have been hyping up Cinestill 800T and I figured there's nothing quite the same as going out and shooting a roll for yourself to see if, it, if you like it, if it works. So, so I bid the bullet. Spent $13 on one roll of Cinestill, and here we are making this video about it. I shot this on my favorite setup uh, of all my cameras. It is a Sears TLS that I picked up from my friend Warner in uh, Salt Lake City, and a Pentax SMC Tacomar 55mm f1.8 lens that I picked up from my local camera shop. And I really like this because both the lens and the body I got from an actual camera store, uh, instead of ordering it from Amazon, it kind of means a little bit more to me that way. Just like all of them, all of them means more. Just, I don't know, there's something intangible to it. Anyways, Cinestill 800T, to give you some background, is a uh, repackaged motion picture film. So they used to shoot movies on this stuff. It is balanced for indoor lighting. So back in the day, people would shoot movies on tungsten lighting, and that's what this film is designed to shoot with. Hold up, I'm actually gonna... So this is what the digital version of this film does, if that makes sense. So I balanced this for tungsten lighting. So if I were in tungsten lighting right now, everything would look normal, but I'm not. Um, I'm getting some daylight from this window, so that's why everything looks kind of a little bit blue and a little a little funky. Sources I found online really recommended to not shoot it during the day, but honestly, spoiler alert, I really liked what I got out of this. So I hopped on my one wheel, headed to a little auto shop in town, and made some pictures. For this video, I wanted to experiment with three different lighting scenarios. Broad daylight, evening, so golden hour, blue hour, and then some long exposures at night. Um, so I decided to divide it into 12 shots per, um, and by the time I got done with the auto shop, I was 11 shots in. So I headed to the bayou and I knew I, I could get one more shot and still be on target. And there at the bayou, I found this cool old dude. His name was Willie Mac Lewis, and I had to I had to fire off some shots of him. Um, I went to I, I overshot by two, so I uh, I shot I shot three shots of him. Is that is that math right? Do you mind if I take your photo? Okay, thank you so much. The, the close-up of him is probably my favorite of the day up to that point. 
So after that, headed home, changed up, did a little workout, uh, and then hit up my friend Sam Silver, as if she doesn't have the coolest name in the world already. She's also a great photographer and just a chill person. And we went to shoot Golden Hour in Newport Ritchie. While I was waiting, I got one shot of this pretty cool old building. It looked kind of like a church or a mission or something, but I don't really know what it was. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> I can't do this. Because you get it. You're a natural. What the heck? I'm going to miss that boat. It's okay then. I was, I was watching your vlogs the other day. I was like, wait, why am I freaking watching your vlogs? I'm going to get back to Netflix. But they're actually going to That's good. literally the rudest thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm going home I'm now. <laughs> There's going to be a much worse vlog than you're used to. Oh yeah, for sure. You might yeah. as well just stop it now and just go to the Iceland vlog or something and watch Cameron do backflips and do the same transition. Transition? <laughs> I'm really no, you jealous don't. of your editing. No, you don't. I don't worry about it. <laughs> Enough messing around, for guys. Sure. I gotta adjust my hand. We're ready to go. We're ready to find some shots. He's using a light meter. Why? <laughs> Meter for the shadows, right? 16 at 1, now they're at 11. F11 at 1250, it should, should be fine. That's what ISO is that film? This is 800. Mm. Crazy. Oh, this is gonna be a cash money shot. Alright, ready? This feeder sign is, I think, the most interesting because obviously the entire downtown is shut down, so I had no reason to think that the theater sign was gonna turn on, but it did. So I took another picture, almost the exact same one, and I think I, I like the difference between those. And I also really like from the other side with the sky and the, the power lines in the background. So maybe if I make a, a little book or something, these will be on opposite pages of each other. Uh, Cause I, I kind of like how much the glow adds to it. Watched the sunset there and then decided to head back to Tarpon Springs uh, to do some downtown shots at night because we're both from Tarpon Springs and we both know the area. I uh, figured it'd be cool to get some, some long exposures of the buildings. We headed back downtown. There's a little main strip that has a bunch of old Greek shops on it. And I really like this picture of the department store. I actually shot that one handheld wide open at f1.8. And since this is an 800 speed film, um, it handles pretty well at night. I was pretty glad that I could do that without having to push it at all. Maybe in the future I'll push it. That'd be pretty cool. If you're not shooting gas stations with Cinestill 800T, a little further away from my face, please. <laughs> if you're not shooting gas stations with Sinister 800 T, you're doing it wrong. That's what I hear. We found this really interesting little caution taped area with a uh, chair that had toppled over and I thought it was really striking so I took a picture of that, walked around the corner and found this amazing old house that she told me was gonna be getting torn down soon so I snapped a few pictures of that. Shooting this at f8 and one half second because that's what the metered for in the shadows. I'll just double check that again. It says one second here so you know what we're doing? One second. Boop. Pop this bad boy sideways. spent way too long on the composure there. So during that afternoon, on more than one occasion, because this was such a precious roll of film, I did get the film sweats. If you don't know what the film sweats are. But 
I decided to take a page out of Jason's book and from Granny, Jason from Granny Days' book. How do you say that? Jason's, I decided to take a page out of his book because his whole vibe is, you know, just go out and do what you love, take some cool pictures and just have a good time. Um, and so that's, that's what I was trying to, you know, channel the, I was trying to channel that for this, uh, this experience. And I think it turned out really well because you know, I'm happy with these pictures. I had a good time shooting them. And what more can you ask for? I think my next video is going to be something similar to this, you know, just keep experimenting with different films and, and see where we can go. I'm glad to be making YouTube videos again. I think this will be, this will be really fun. And I'm looking forward to sharing more with you guys. So until next time, it's been real and it has also been fun. And it's also been real fun. Peace.